I'm Samuel Ousu here. I'm the facilitator to particular training and I'm going to take you through on how to design a very beautiful birthday flyer. So if you are new here, if you are new to this particular channel, please kindly subscribe and turn on the post notification bell. In this channel, all what we do is that we provide step by step and valuable tutorial on how to design various kind of flyers and designs. And we also give tips and hacks on how to master the graphic design skill with your smartphone. So if you really want to master the graphic design skill, then kindly subscribe and turn on the post notification bell. Right, so without wasting my time, let's open our Pizzle app. I hope everyone has the Pizzle app, app on his or her phone right now, right? So let's open the Pizzle app, app. So this is the interface of the Pizzle app, app as we have learned the introduction of Pizzle app. I hope you guys know the use of these tools. So we are going to design a very beautiful birthday flyer at the end of the day, right? So this is the interface. I will delay this particular test. It's not needed right now. So I'll come to the alphabet um, layer here, the alphabet tool here. Then I will tap on delete to delete it gently like this. Right. So I'll come to the background, the background um, tool here, the background tool. I tap here. Right. So once you tap here, choose from gallery. It's simple like that. Choose from gallery. You are going to choose a background from our gallery. Right. So let's wait for some time let me choose the background it's not in this particular folder All right so choose the background from your gallery i'll give you the background you can check the description for you too yeah it is there where is the background all right guys here's the background let me tap on it so the background is in the square size already so we are not going to choose any size for it it's the square size so don't tap on anywhere just tap on the check mark here right so we have our background like this now so the image the person who's celebrating the birthday we have to bring the person's image so we come to the image uh the image to let me call it like that way so the image to here let's tap there right so once we tap here we tap on import we are going to import the person image from my gallery so as i have said the images or the resources will be given to you so that you can use it so here is the person's image tap on, gently on it like this you can crop it or you can decide to use it that way it will not be a problem right so you can crop it like this and tap on the check mark here right so the image has been has already been edited so it is in a high quality form it's a high quality image so there's no need to retouch on it so we are going to increase the size of the image a bit we are going to increase the size of the image so we increase it like this like this somewhere like this okay okay so let's okay we increase it somewhere like this so let's position it in the okay okay make sure that it's in the it's balanced right so after this let me check the size the relative size of it so that you can use it the same size the size is the weight is 77 percent and the height is 89 you can use similar size uh, size for it so that you can get the actual design so let me tap on the check mark here come to this layer to here this layer to here and let's lock the image let's lock the image so that it cannot be moved right so now we are going to write the happy birthday so we come to the alphabet or the test tool here right that's where we used to write or uh, if you want to write editing just come here so we will tap on it tap on it once you tap on it you see test so we are going to write something tap on the test we are going to edit edit the test this is a default test a default test you can see new test here so we are going to edit it and put in our own test so we will first put in the happy in capital like this and place it here so we have our happy here our happy place at the top here have you seen it right so let's come to um once the happy is selected come to font come to font and let's choose a font for it i have the font here i have the font here so you are in your fonts we are going to use this particular disco font as you can see disco look at the fonts well disco fonts once you have this you see this font just tap on it like this so once you tap on it it will have to take effect here as you can see it has take effect here so let's tap on okay to 
send us back to our working space so we have the test here let's reduce the size a bit i think the size is too much so let's reduce the size to 26 26 is okay so the size is small we wanted 26 so use 26 for yours and now let's come to spacing come to spacing you if you come to spacing reduce increase the spacing to 45 45 increase the spacing to 45 or 40 is okay 40 is okay so we increase the spacing to 40 let's change the, the color of it to black it is black or but this one is light black so let's choose dark black like this so we tap on the check mark so we have it like this let's position it well let's position it well so we position it up here up here to position it to the center make sure that it is in the center the, the space here and the space here are the same right so take your time then we tap on the check mark here let's tap here then we come to the A test the a tool here again then we come to test we are going to write the birthday let's edit it and lay this default test here and write birthday birthday in capitals like this so we will bring it here increase the size a bit so let's go to font and choose the font a particular font for the birthday test i want you to follow me closely here this font if you don't take care you will not see it <laughs> it's very small here so this font where is it okay okay this where is the font you see i haven't seen it so follow me closely here let me start afresh so the name of the font i can search it though but i want you guys to uh, follow from here so that you can see where exactly it is uh, the name is Magna 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 black condense you see it here is the font Magna is the font near to it is 20 db if you see this big text it is at the top of it right so it is Magna black condense Magna black condense this test right so we will tap on it so it will take effect here so we tap on OK. We have the font here. We have the text here. Very beautiful like this. So let's come to um, size and increase the size to where is size? Where is size? Increase the size to somewhere 163. This size is OK. So we send it to back. Come here. Come to, to back. Come to, to back and send it to the back of the image. Right? So it's in the back of the image now. So let's position it to where. Let's position it well and then let's bring it here. Make sure it has its balance. Now let's change the color of it. Let's come to color. We can choose color, black color for it. You can choose black color for it, right? Black color will not be bad. So we have it like this. We have it like that. But if you want to go, if you want to have a color that can fit it well, I will advise you to use gradient color. So follow me here. If you don't know, if you lost, if you are lost when you are designing. I will advise you to use the black color only if that would be cool but then if you can use this follow me here tap on gradient when you tap on gradient i have the gradient color already here so what i'm going to do is tap on plus sign tap on the plus sign here to custom a gradient color for it so once you tap on the plus sign here come to the fourth gradient this one particular one the fourth gradient tap on it so once you are here tap here this one is already selected so let's tap on it and come to color and choose a color we are customizing the gradient color so we choose black color for it so with the black color we will increase it somewhere here you move it somewhere here right if you this is complicated to use the black color as i told you already so let's come here and choose a brown color for it let's come here and tap on color and let's move this pointer here to somewhere here somewhere here and move it here okay all right so we have this color here we can go ahead and tap on plus we can go ahead and tap on plus we have to plus it like this plus it then let's choose a color for the plus one something like this okay so we have a gradient color like this we have a gradient color like this This one is cool and it will fit the design well so let's tap on okay let's tap on okay so we have seen this gradient color is cool it can fit the design but if you are designing and you find it for use black color it will also do well right so let's we are almost done let's write a well which is goes for the person so let's come to test come to test and let's edit it 
so let's write a well which is code but then i have the course here so i'll just paste it here but you can write it yours you can write yours sorry you can write yours this is what i have written eight gracefully say more blessings more health so you can write something similar or simple like this right let's tap on okay so we have the test here this one we are not going to choose any font for which we are using this default font it will it's not bad right so we place it here let's go to let's come to background let's come to background and give it a background i hope you guys are following that's how we do it give it a white background you can see white background here let me come back you can see white background here okay let me give it this white background right we have we have given it a white background the test is white and the background is white that's why you can't see the test well so let's come to color and give the background give the test black color so you can see we have it here we have it here we can increase the pattern of the let's come to background i hope you guys are not confused yeah just increasing the pattern increase the pattern of the left and increase the right a bit okay the, the left okay okay so we have it here we are done guys you are done this is a very beautiful birthday fly it's very simple that's what makes me like this particular design so follow attentively watch the tutorial well and understand the concept and design something similar or same like this and then submit your assignment all right so once you have gotten your design like this you have finished with it and you have gotten a very simple and a beautiful design like this this is how to save your work this is how to save your work. come here you see this save tool here this save tool here i hope you have seen it yeah just tap on it but i will advise you that every time you are saving a design first save it as project you see save as project so with the project the design will be saved in the pizzlap app so anytime you want to edit it or anytime you want to work on the design again you just come to the pizzlap and you come here come to my folder my projects you see the project there right so let's give it a project name so save as project the project name you can give it any name that will make you um, remember or recognize the design right so i can give it birthday birthday flyer i have many birthday flyers here I have many birthday flyer projects here so for me to make this um, special and different, I can use a number for it, birthday flyer 9. So you save it as project, right? It will be saved in your project, right? So after you save it as project, now you save it as image again, so that it will be saved. This time it will be saved in your gallery. So once you tap on save as image, you come here. Don't touch it. This is already done for you. So tap on the dimension default. You see default here tap on this arrow small arrow here with this small arrow you choose ultra choose ultra ultra will help you the image the design to be saved in a higher quality this is the best option here so save as ultra save as ultra and you tap on save to gallery after choosing ultra tap on save to gallery so it will be rendering image your image is saving to image your image is saving sorry so you see here image has been saved to your gallery so once you come to your gallery you receive the image beautiful at your gallery so this is very simple this is very simple so let me wait it has not dropped yet okay you see here's the image here's the image here's the design image i have just saved so that's it Submit your assignment. Thank you guys for following. If you find this particular tutorial helpful, please kindly subscribe to this channel and turn on post notification bell. See you in class. See you.